What's going on, everyone? Darkwater here, back in Airport CEO, back in Indianapolis International. Last time we kind of finished off the term, uh, Concourse A area, uh, added some seating, some vending to the international area, added the bathrooms. Uh, Going to work on this little section over here. Probably should add some seats over onto the, uh, the far B section here. And first thing I'm going to do is I think we're just going to move because there's another set of bathrooms on the other side. So from the wall, one, two, three, four, five, six down. So we're just going to copy this set of bathrooms, just mirror it onto the other side. And three, four, five, six. And probably need to make that a scare zone up there. Uh, this used to be walled off. And we're going to turn part of this into a restaurant, have a little bit of a seating area. We'll get... Uh, Builders in here to work on getting the walls up for the bathroom. Nope. Missed the spot. There we go. And since I'm here, it is this tile will go through and it up real quick. There is a shop right here, but I don't think we we're going to have the space for it, quite frankly. Um, there's seating in this area, and there is a shop over here. So let's come through. Right down. Okay, I do take the carpet all the way down. I gotta come in with a wall here. There's actually two shops. There's technically three shops. There's kind of a, a split kiosk on the, the side of it. We're gonna come out to here. And let's go ahead and lay this out as a shop. Got as for AS to go, and we've got paper plane. Let's go ahead and do you. Um, the eight shelves and a desk. Let's go ahead and get desk in there. You are centered, right? Pedestal? Nope. Go. In here, let's... Get a couple medium up in the front. Come in here with some nice ones. Lead that was four. Look at these guys with the salt shell. There we go. Copy these set real quick. Come down there. I can get another one in there, right? Yeah. There we go. Let's go ahead and grab some carpet. Throw some carpet down in here. Let's. There we go. Uh, bathrooms are in place. Let's go ahead and. Zone them up. That's 
downloaded. Slide over. Copy everything over. Flip, flip. There we go. And mail and open and email and open. So that takes care of the bathrooms over here. We've got another shop coming in. Let's go ahead and finish up this area by adding in seating. This whole section. And that gets dropped in right there. Let's slide up. And looking for three windows like that. That should be a complete area, yeah. Should fit perfectly in there. There we go. And actually, we can just drop this in over here as well. And there. Take it all the way down to the corner. We've got seating going in. Grab. Can I get four in, in this area? No, it's going to be too close. Up. I can go ahead and put you guys in there. Let's grab you. Close. All right, so we've got the seating. I want to take that carpet down one little bit more. There we go. I did not sign a contract. There we go. That signed. Staff and root. Slide over here. Let's figure out the restaurant. This just gonna be it's gonna be a tricky mess here. That's a shop. There we go. Restaurant. Food room. I mean, I could do this. That sticks. Uh, way more than it needs to. I know, it can't be outside of the terminal. But this here is kind of the biggest space that I have. If I do this... We have the size. 160 and 138. Okay, hold on. Let's take this out. Yes. Three. What if that ah, back? If I come over one more. Right size for cup. No, I don't want to do cup. I want to do the uh, the more formal restaurant. That. 
actually take you up uh, 160. I know, I've deleted that like six times here. Here. And then we'll do some tables, chairs kind of down the side here. Uh, what do you actually need? I don't even remember. Uh, display fridges, cafe counter. Perfect. I can do that. Display fridges in here. Bye. if I could put that there actually. I feel the staff needs room. So let's go with the small one. Put you right there. And just want to put a little piece of counter just kind of on the air and just have a little bit of space behind for the staff. And that should be all we need. Oh, I still need another one. I need another display fridge, okay. Gotta change those. I can't put them outside. One, two, three, four. That'll work. Uh, you are up and running. Got all kinds of merchandise on tables here. Contract signed. Get that up and running. What, where are we have an issue here? The 16 and 17 are having issues. That is actually you guys. Why are you guys having issues? Probably because everything's. Come on. Quit laggy. Thank you. We're going to push you out. We're going to push you out. Yes, that's going to upset a bunch of people. Catering depots. Okay. You are hooked up, yes? Looks like it. Uh, accept. Do I have a hole anywhere? International, it looks like. Crank you all the way up. I have a hole in my fence, apparently. I never got that wrapped up. Fuel is fine. Yeah, B16 and 17 are really backed up for some reason. I may just push these out again. You're the emergency one. But it's uh, B10 is having some issues too. How am I short on ramp agents again? You can close the thing. Okay, hold on. Let's go ahead and get the service tax going as well. We will 
hire a bunch more passenger service agents also. Can't go wrong there. We took care of that flight. Again, we're going to push you out. And we're going to push you out. Get those guys dismissed. Again, not going to make people happy. A-17s that push back. Sixteen. You're currently boarding. traffic jam here. Other side seems to be okay. I don't think I've noticed the uh, flights in pattern before. But there are a ton of flights that are sitting in pattern right now. which might be delaying these a little bit. In fact, it's delaying a lot of these. Very tempted to split Terminal B having access to this runway, Terminal A only having access to that runway, to kind of clean some of this up. Uh, let's real quick and we'll finish up this area. So we'll finish up getting the tables, chairs in place. What did I use on this side? I just used the standard ones, okay. I am gonna grab these black chairs with the uh, kind of the uh, aluminum tables, if you will. Just to kind of scatter through here, give people a little bit of place to sit. This has more of kind of a kiosky feel, so the flooring in here, I think I'm just going to do some basic wood. And I'm just going to take it up through here. And then maybe we'll do some... A little bit nicer tables, chairs in here, but not overly nice. Wrong key. There we go. I am going to do these partially in and out just because of the flooring. down here and need to figure out why B17 is having the issues it's having. Are you boarding? We will let you board real quick. Uh, in the meantime, 
grab a bunch of seating, drop it in the middle for everybody. People are happier a little bit as they're waiting on their flight. And I don't think I need all of that. Use half of that. Uh, you can go. You guys, duh. Where are you trying to go? I'm trying to go to. F yeah, you're just trying to go here, but there's nothing for you to go to there. Interesting. Are we all trying to go there? You were on your way to the bathroom. Because the pathway is accessible through walls. Sure it is. There's a, there's a chair on the way, but you should be good. Maybe that'll clear up in a second, but yeah, we've got some, some actual issues here that we're going to have to contend with in the next episode. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and leave this here. We'll get the seating in. We'll finish off with adding some windows, and I think next time is going to be uh, figuring out what we're doing with the airport runways, because we have 16 flights in full on this side. We've only got four on the other side. A side's just fine. I assume it's because the B side actually is the larger of the runways. But thank you guys for watching. I appreciate you guys for being here and look forward to seeing you guys again soon in Airport CEO. And as always, I hope you guys have yourselves a fantastic day. Bye.